So, two weeks have passed since I had open inguinal hernia surgery. And I thought I'd give you a quick update based on two weeks being quite a crucial point in people's recovery for how's the wound healing, how's the pain, how's mobility. So, as far as the wound healing, here's an image of the wound. And as you can see, I think it's healing very well. If you look at some of the areas that are healing, you can already see that the scar tissue, the cement as they call it in surgery, is of very high quality. So I'm happy with the wound healing as of yet. I'm no longer using any dressing on the wound at all. Um, today is the first day of having no dressing on it. So it's just clothes that are touching it. And it's it feels better to have a little bit more air and, and manoeuvring. As far as pain, I'm not really in any pain as such. There is um, there is discomfort when moving and there is a kind of tightness, um, but it's manageable definitely. Still absolutely no painkillers whatsoever, so that's an absolute blessing as I've said many times before in my previous videos. As far as mobility, I'm moving much less than I could do for the reasons of the mesh which is inserted it should be starting to form uh, in the muscle walls and becoming more solid but it can take four to six weeks for that to be completed and I don't want to ever have to have this surgery again or any surgery touch wood so move less than you could it's not an ego fight, it's not a sprint or even a, a marathon, it's a longer, it's longer than a marathon, managing it and, you know, recovering from it. So things are all moving in the right direction. The only issue I have, which is an actual, it's, it's a genuine concern, is the, what's called a hydrocele. It's where fluid builds up in the sac of the testicle. So my hernia was on the right hand side and fluid has built up in the right testicle. And it's a substantial amount to be uncomfortable. It's not really painful, but it pulls down. And my, my biggest concern is that hydrocele fluid in the sac of the testicle, apparently, according to Dr. Google, the only doctor I seem to have access to, says that that can increase your chance of a recurring hernia or a hernia in itself, an inguinal hernia, the one that I had, hopefully had. So that's a concern. I don't want to increase the chance of it recurring. So, but we're only two weeks after open surgery. So it's a bit by bit, day by day, and then take it further. So pain is manageable. Movement is manageable. Um, the wound is looking good. And as far as um, complications, that seems to be the only complication as of yet. And I'll say yet because we don't know. I mean, it's we've got to take it day by day, as I say. There's been positive and there's, you know, not being honest with the reality of managing this day by day. So hopefully that hydrocele, that fluid, will naturally go down. It can take a long time. We're talking months, maybe even a year. So... I'll find ways around that, hopefully. Um, there is surgery options, but that's the very last thing I would ever want to do is have a surgery because of a surgery. So, but stage by stage. So this is week two, and everything's moving in the right direction. Still, it's going to be a long recovery to be active, to be physically active and safe and avoid any potential complications. So walking then, you know, bef walk before you can run and so on. So I thought I'd just give you an update on where I'm at on that and I'll keep you updated in the days to come. Um, eat healthy, sleep healthy, move healthy. Um, these are the things that I've done before it and these are the things that I plan on doing after it. And this is why everything's got to be precise in trying to collect as much information and assist myself in recovery, whether you believe in God or whether you believe in science, it's the same process of providing the right building blocks and the right environment for physically and mentally just balancing and, and being healthy and happy, a simple life. So, all the best. Mm -hmm.